Good morning, taking you through the 716 in two minutes. Today, we continue to say goodbye to the 10 victims from last weekend's tragedy in Buffalo. Pearl Young and Aaron Salter set to be laid to rest today. 77 year old Young was a former teacher in the Buffalo Public School District, a Christian who taught Sunday school. Aaron Salter Jr. became a security guard at Tops after retiring from Buffalo Police and tried to defend people inside the store from the shooter before he was killed. He's being remembered as a hero. Starting today, you can support those impacted by the Tops mass shooting by buying a donut. From now through the end of the month, Tim Hortons is selling a Buffalo community donut at certain locations for two bucks. All of that money is going to be donated to the Buffalo 514 Survivors Fund. And the Niagara County Sheriff says one person was killed in a crash at the intersection of Niagara Falls Boulevard and Cy Road in the town of Wheatfield when a car on the boulevard was T-boned. We're still working to learn more about the victim or if anyone else was hurt. New York's new lieutenant governor will officially take office today. Congressman Antonio Delgado will be New York's third lieutenant governor in less than a year. He'll replace Brian Benjamin, who resigned after he was charged with breaking campaign finance laws. Aaron, how's the forecast looking today? Well, it looks very nice today. You're going to find partly sunny skies. A warmer day today with a high of 77 degrees. Winds out of the southeast at 5 to 15 miles per hour. Now tonight, overnight lows near 60 partly to mostly cloudy. Can't rule out a stray shower tonight. We'll see some rain showers arrive late on Thursday. Highs near 80. Looking at 70s on Friday with rain showers likely. A few showers linger into early Saturday. Sunday looks super. 77 with sunshine. We're back in the 80s for Monday and Tuesday.